Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. Or welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. Whatever the intro is, welcome to Space Engineers. This is the second time I'm recording this intro because um, Shadowplay is designed to be weird and not record the game. I don't know. It wants to record my desktop on my other monitor no matter what I want to do. Anyway, I'm using OBS now. So, <laughs> moving on. I don't... Yeah, uh, uh, it bugged me. So, between now and last episode, some stuff has happened. Things have been done. Um, I was going to record a episode yesterday, but honestly, I was just tired and buggered, and I could not be bothered doing it. And a couple of my mates wanted to play with me, so that, that being um, Bones and Vinny, they wanted to hop on and play. So I let them hop on, and we did a bit of playing, and some things were built, some stuff was added. Uh, we're going to quickly go over it, just so you know. Over here, we got a bunch of... Uh, oh, okay, we're cool. It's all cool. It's fine. Uh, we got a bunch of hydrogen tanks. Uh, a bunch of cargo containers. <laughs> There's a reason for these. I'll get to that in a sec. All these hydrogen engines. Lots of hydrogen engines. There's even more um, uh, solar panels over here. We upgraded the, these wind things. The reason we did all that, we upgraded that, and we needed all that, was because... Bones built a spaceship, and this isn't his fault, I'm not having to go at him, just want to clarify. He built a spaceship, because he wa we wanted to go to space to get some resources and stuff, because we needed them. Uh, like magnesium, we couldn't find it around the area. To be honest, we didn't look very long, but yeah, anyway, we, we wanted to go to space. His ship is still up there, actually, somewhere. I don't know where, I think it's like 180 to 100 kilometers away. But, um, he built a spaceship, he put like three batteries on there, but he used the modded batteries that are advanced batteries. And apparently they draw 20 megawatts of power each. So that he was drawing 60 megawatts of power, which is a lot of power. And we didn't know why there was our power usage was so high at first. Like, it was at 500% of what we're producing if we came over here. Like, right now we're using anywhere between 99% and I don't know why it's so high. I still don't know. But we're producing 7.35 megawatts of power, right? And 77%, there we go. Um, we're using... 500%. We couldn't figure out why we upgraded all the solar panel, uh, the solar panels. No, we upgraded the wind turbines to uh, advanced ones. We put solar panels on. It's still using it. We chucked all the engines on. We finally got all the power just to above. I think we we're using 120%. We were to, and then we found then we found out that the advanced batteries are drawing 20 megawatts, 20 megawatts of power. That was a, a thing. I don't know why I went on that rant. I just did. Uh, but yeah, that's why that's why we have all these power things. Uh, the reason why we've got uh, I've got yeah, I've got hydrogen bottles. All of these storage containers here, just I plopped them down here, was because we added um, some collectors in the water, right? Not those ones. That's a different one. Uh, we added a bunch of collectors in. Oh, oh there we go. Well, I hit them apparently. So uh, we added a bunch of collectors here in the water. Uh, bones put six down. Uh, apparently, they gather ice very very quickly because before we knew it we had 20 tons 20 tons of ice on this thing in this thing it was ridiculous the amount of ice we had in here like it was just it was stupid it was so much I had to put these down here because like it was filling up all of the inventories like all the cargo containers were full and we couldn't do anything but yeah, so we put that down there and we turned off the collectors. Um, as for this one over here, in between... Oh, I built this house. That's what I was doing yesterday before my mates joined. I was just adding more houses on. And I put, like, fences so they have backyards. But yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, this little one over here in the crosshairs now. Uh, Bones built that as a refueling station for his helicopter. So yeah, that's that's why we got that. I added the helicopter parts mod. He wanted that. I tried to add the plane parts mod. Kept cr the, the world wouldn't load. It kept crashing. Don't know why. I might try again later in the future. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, so over here I added this parking lot. And I've got like these four vehicles here. So all of the, the three, these three cars and uh, Robert's Burger and Fries or something like that truck. These are all from the workshop. Because I want to add... Um, I want to add a bunch of like vehicles and stuff around the town as we build it. Just to give it like some sort of faux life. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to design them all because, quite frankly, my little designing brain isn't that big to design a whole variety of things. So I got them off the the, um, the workshop. As well as this truck down here behind this. 
I got this truck off the workshop as well. I've had this one for a long time. I've just never used it. I think it looks cool. It's like a little box truck. Uh, here's Bones' helicopter. Did I show you that? I don't know. I'm all over the place. But what I was thinking what we could do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add a bunch of workshop items into my builds just to give a bit of life. And I can just show you... What's the button? Control F10? Yep. Control F10. Alright, so... The, let's start, let's start here. Okay, so this is Robert's Burgers and Fries. Alright, we open then the workshop. That was built by... Where is the people's names? Primo Super T. I actually think there's a, quite a few that this guy has, or this person has, that I want to get as well. Um, it, it's very good. It, it is. It's very, very good. It has a burger on the side of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else did... What were the other ones we got? Um, we haven't got any of these. We will have a bunch of Star Trek stuff. I'm going to put Mandalor uh, Star Wars stuff. It's going to be a mixed match of all kinds of things. Might probably make that. I don't know. Um, Mercury Star Runner, probably. Okay, this one, Trav. This guy. This one, he makes some really nice uh, vehicles as well. Like I said, we got that one in there. Let's have a... Trav workshop items. He has 80 of them. But yeah, here's a lot of things that I think are pretty cool that I might add in. Um, I think that's cool. I don't know. Now, these ones that I take off the workshop and put on the base, they're, they're not going to be um, things I use, right? So they're just literally going to be decorative. Because I don't... I've never been a fan of taking people's stuff off the workshop and just using it. <laughs> I kind of like to build my own stuff, so... But for decorative reasons, I think they look pretty cool. And they look better than what I could do, so... That's what I'm going to do. I don't know why I'm going on this rant. I am! Now, another thing that I... The only thing that I really built... Uh, I mean, we got this connector here. Did I explain why? Probably not. So, we got this connector here because Bones wanted to build a spaceship. To go to space to get a bunch of rare resources, which, he, which we did. Uh, it was a good time. Um, okay, that did not work. Uh, excuse me. I didn't want to be flying while we do this, but like... We got a bunch of rare resources. We got like dilithium, duranium, aluminium, trinium. We got a whole bunch of cobalt. We got magnesium, silicon. I think we got a whole bunch of you know. There's a fair few things, right? Like okay, this is, you're just doing your spacey stuff. So you got a bunch of silicon. We don't have any much nickel. We have no more iron. All right, that's a bit of a problem. We'll get to that in a sec as well. So we Robert, Robert, not Robert. Bones built his uh, spaceship. We went to space. We mined. We came down. We landed. Uh, he didn't land straight. Uh, it's not really his fault. His ship was a very basic go to space, mine, come back type ship. So there wasn't much control over it when it came in. We were actually surprised it landed when it was so heavy. It weighed like nearly two ton two million tons when it came down. But we landed. It was fine. I built this little contraption here. Um, it's got a twisty rotor and a piston extender to get it in. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, we've got... It's, it's all connected to the base. It goes underground here. Like, this is... This piece here, right? So, you got this curved piece. And somehow... I don't know how... It let me, like... Ew, you, I highlighted it for, like, a half a second then. There you go. It let me place down conveyor tubes here without digging out the ground. Which was amazing. So, I just placed it for as long as it would let me. And it let me do it to about here. So, just behind this one, um, there's a bunch of holes in the ground. Actually, can I show you? If I, oh, that's a space station we found floating in space, or damaged. Uh, we, we took it over, and we grind down bits and bobs of it. So, I don't know wherever, wherever Bones' is, uh, ship is. Uh, is it over there? Nope, that's a trading post. I don't know where his ship is. I have no idea. I don't think he has an antenna on it, which could become a bit of a problem when he tries to log back in. Because he might be have to respawn. I don't know how that's going to work. But, uh, if we can... Okay, yeah, uh, let's slow down. Okay. I really wish I didn't have to press shift and mouse wheel at the same time to slow the camera movement down. That's probably an easier way. But, yeah. Ooh. I don't like it. So, yeah. We got, like, it's all connected up underneath. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, same with the... Where is it? Why can't you see it? Is it under the water? It's under the water. So, here we got, like, this tunnel here digged all the way down to the to the um, collectors in the water. I think that's pretty cool. I put these grates down because it's like an underwater, you know when you see pipes underwater and they got grapes, uh, pipes or tunnels underwater and they got grates on it? Like, yeah, that's that's why I did that. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but yeah, there you go. Here's my new house that I built. There's nothing in it. I just wanted to start decorating the area of a bunch of houses. I'm thinking 
I'm gonna want like a whole bunch of houses along here. I uh, put like little fences with backyards. Like I, I think I did pretty good with the fence coloring. I'm quite. I don't know why I'm proud about it, but like it looks pretty close. It's a little bit green. I gotta. I could have made it done a little bit better, but you know, yeah, we're surrounded by water, so yeah, mold, salt water. I don't know how that works. Probably not so much. Anyway, yeah, we did that. It's pretty cool. That's where we're at. I think I've caught everything up. It's probably been like 10, wow, it's been 10 minutes me trying to explain everything. Whew. If you sat around for that, thank you. Have a good time. Uh, have a cookie. I don't know. Anyway, how much hydrogen do we have? We've got plenty of hydrogen. Awesome. So I don't have to waste time driving. Oh, this vehicle. I built this vehicle. Uh, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Uh, what is this vehicle? It's basically just going to be a little pro uh, small ship projector vehicle. It's got a couple bobs. It's got like three bobs on it. It's got a projector at the front there that, you know, extends its nose out. And then you just connect it to the that blast block. And you build away. Uh, yeah, that, that's literally all this is for. <laughs> I call it the beetle because it's low to the ground and it skitters about all over the place. Like, I'll show you how low it is. Actually, here, watch this. Also, it does this. It's got landing gear attached to pistons. Why? Um, just so it can, like, lock itself into place when you're building, um, when you're building a blueprint, it can lock itself into place because you don't want, like, the ship that you're building off the front of the ship to get too heavy and start tilting the ship, the vehicle forward. At least that was my logic. I think that's pretty good logic. But look how... Ready? Underneath that... Okay, let's drive straight underneath that one, and underneath that one. <laughs> it is so low to the ground. I love it. Alright, anyway, let's moving on to what this... Well, apparently I'm having bad luck with we recording today, but anyway, inconspicuous jump from driving my vehicle to here. At least I didn't lose that much. Uh, what we're going to do today is we need to expand the... Um, the, the, the mine, the farm, the drill, whatever you want to call it, it needs to it needs to be bigger. Uh, not bigger, I need more iron, is what I'm trying to say. So what I want to do is I want to build a stairwell down here, kind of wraps around the edge here, comes down here all the way, under the water, and then I'm going to have like a mining platform that build, that's going to have a horizontal drilling system, and we lucked out, the iron is like in the perfect spot for um, a... Okay, well, I think there's whales underground. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to come down here. We're going to build um, a, a horizontal uh, no, yeah, horizontal farm. I'm thinking we're going to start down here. We'll have, like, a connector going up and then a can piston, connected to a piston or something that will push the drillers uh, this way, like, horizontally, mining out all this iron. I'm thinking we'll probably be able to get away with, like, what, one... Probably get away with, what, one and two... One, two, and three high drill systems. So it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Push it out that way. Get lots and lots of iron that way. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to grind down all of these drills, because we don't need these drills anymore. I was going to originally take the pistons away as well. But I kind of like them there, and I'm thinking I may, in the future, try to turn that into like a um, elevator or some, some something like that. Some sort of elevator or something that goes down uh, to make life easier. Like a, we'll pretend it's like a cargo lift elevator or something. I think that might be pretty cool. So yeah, we'll grind these down. Thankfully, I can just grind these down and reuse them. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. That's one benefit of doing this. So I'm going to have lots of drills already placed. Uh, I've also got to connect, build a connection all the way down as well. A conveyor tube up here to connect to the refinery so, it's, so it can refine things while we're doing stuff. Because that's going to be the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to quickly disappear. I'm going to slap all that together. I'm going to pray to God that this recording uh, actually recorded this part and held it. Because I'm tired of recording issues. I think Windows did an update which has buggered everything again. Because, you know... Why? I really don't. Stop updating Windows. Stop it. Bad Windows. No more updates. You work fine. Leave it be. Stop breaking crap. I'm not going to upgrade to Windows 11 either. Bugger off. Stop asking me. Anyway, <laughs> with that ran over, I'm going to get this stuff built and we'll come back and have a look at the product and uh, see how badly the um, the mining goes. Also, quickly, i got to check. 
Uh, yeah, inertia tension button's back on. Okay, sweet. I don't know. It was weird the other day. It wasn't showing up. See you guys in a sec. All right. So it's finished. It's built. It's ready to go. Let's test this bad boy out. So we just got stage one done. Um, I only put one piston on it because I couldn't fit any more in. I was gonna put another piston on and then just kind of right click drill with my 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 jewel out this section, but that that would take forever, and that was just a silly idea. So. Here we go. We got this. We got the stairwells are all lit up. This looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. All right. So we got a. Uh, so we go G. Actually, I should have set this up if I was a smart boy, but I'm not. Okay. We put that there. Uh, at the moment. Oh no. We we have a whole bunch of pistons. Crap. Okay. Um. Uh, piston. Horizon. Just because I need to be able to find it. All right. Let's go like that. Okay. Yeah. G. Horizon piston set that to reverse. Okay, we're ready. This is gonna be loud. It's fine. It's mine. So we have no iron in here, I think. I don't know. Actually, we may have a little bit of iron left over. I can't remember if I grabbed it all or not. But I'm just kind of curious to see how much ore this first section is gonna gather. I mean, I feel like it's gonna be a fair bit should be a fair bit. I hope it's a fair bit. I mean, I put a lot of work into it for it to not be a fair bit. Alright, let's just kind of... You always gotta... You always gotta... You always got to continue drilling when you're pulling back. Alright, that's the rules. Okay, I don't know... I don't make the rules up. I am just forced to follow the rules. Alright, let's go... Alright, that should be fine. Anyway, boom. Iron. What do we get? Four? Four iron? There you know, that's a little bit of iron. Um, is that really all the iron we got? I feel like there's, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Where's the easiest inventory? Is that not on this thing? Move the iron, yeah, sorry, let's go. Uh, up, break the water out, let's headbutt. Okay, Bob's still turned on. Izzy, are you running? Are you running? You are running. Okay. So why is none of the iron ore um, connected? Like why is it all just sitting inside the container? I don't understand why it's sitting inside the container. We got so much. Okay, I don't know how much we got. We got four, eight, uh, 13, 22, or 21 or something. 18, 20. We got a fair bit of iron, all right? <laughs> it's just not coming up. Is it? Okay, is it stuck? Is there something not welded? There's something not welded. Of course, there's something not welded. What would not be welded? Um, well, they're all green, so that must be connected there. Oh! oh such a... Such a... Such a ninkum... Such a bloody ninkum poop. Alright. And uh, naturally, I'm pretty sure I don't actually have enough... <coughs> small steel tubes. Uh, okay, we got enough there, and okay, I need 20 small steel tubes. Okay, 20 small steel tubes. Which one of you is holding a ridiculous amount of small steel tubes? Okay, I've actually run out of steel tubes, that's why I'm having to grind these down. Uh, there we go, bam! There we go, that should work now, right? 285,000 iron ore, and then like 290 or nope, 300 something thousand uh, stones. So it's a pretty good little uh, haul, I'd say, just from that one little bit. Now what I've got to do is jump down here. I just, I'll extend uh, the pistons by one, uh, the, I'll extend the piston uh, by one, then I'll add um, I'll grind all these drills down, extend a piston my way, and add all the drills back on. It's a little bit of a labor-intensive process, but it's definitely worth it. And this is a good time to end this episode because the dogs are now starting to play right next to me. They're having fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode, a quick little catch-up on the first half, and a little bit of mining expansion that was desperately needed. I had fun. I like it. I kind of like how this does this. I don't know why there's water here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume because it, like it's constantly raining, that the uh, hole got filled up with rain water. See, it's actually raining right now as we speak. But yeah, 
that's it for now guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a like, comment, subscribe. I left this drill here on purpose because I didn't want all the other drills to fall down the hole and explode. But that's going to be it for now. As always, have a good one and I'll see you all next time. And rain, stop raining, please. You're always raining. Is that an asteroid? No, that's an asteroid right there in the crosshairs. Well, just below the crosshair. It's kind of in the crosshair. I don't know. Alright, I, I don't stuff. I'll see you next time.